lots and lots of hairstyles and I get asked all the time how I do my makeup. So I'm just going to show you how I do my makeup regularly on like a day-to-day -day basis. And I thought it'd be too hard if I was trying to show you how to do it on myself, having like my eyes half open and half closed and my hands all in the way. So I'm just going to have my mom do it on me. But this is how I regularly do it. So give it a try. Thanks. So Bella and I wear our makeup the very same way and use basically the same items. The only thing that I really am a stickler about is I only will use the Clinique foundation and powder because it, I tend to break out otherwise if I use anything else. Plus, it covers so beautifully. I love Clinique. Now, the rest of the stuff, I don't even care what you get. You, I've got some CoverGirl eyeshadow and lip gloss. The lipstick is Clinique, but you know it does not matter. And my favorite mascara is actually the L'Oreal Voluminous. I think it works much better than the more expensive ones I've tried. And then I've just got a couple of different um, eyeliner pencils and a brush. So I start by putting a little bit of face cream, whatever kind of face cream or lotion you use, and dab it in on the T-zone and a couple dabs on her cheeks because I don't want it to look like the foundation is, is really thick. So I dab a little bit of lotion onto her face and then I take some foundation and I squirt it on my finger and I just mar mark the little dots where I put the lotion and I'm going to blend them together to make the lotion a lot lighter in texture. If you don't want to wear it every day you can just do it around your eyes. I should mention that a lot of people use these sponges and I used to but I stopped because I you have to get a new one every day or I, the other one was filled with so many germs it, it, I was causing myself to break out. So I stopped using those sponges and if I use my finger and a titch of lotion, I can make the foundation spread out very thin so that it doesn't look like, you know, a pancake face or whatever, because this is just your daily routine. You can apply more if you are, you know, a big night out on the town or something. So work it through your face all around your eyes. And like I said, if you don't want to wear it on your whole face, just put it on your eyelids and underneath your eyes is an eyeshadow primer and to hide what, when we tend to have the circles or the darker spots under our eyes. But you are basically just rubbing it in lightly like you would be putting on some face cream. Then I take my darker eyeshadow, and like I said, mine's just CoverGirl. You can spend more if you'd like to, but this works great. And I get some on my brush, and I want to put it in the crease of her eyelid. And this has, it's, I would say more like a brownish plum is the shade of it. And I put it, work it through, right in that crease. Then do the same thing to both eyes and then I get out my lighter eyeshadow that has the creams or the whites and this one has some browns in it but I don't like it as well as the little bit of plum so I always go with the plum colored one but go ahead and highlight that brow line with the cream do it to both eyes until you can see that pretty arch opening up, up above your eyelid and then I take a lighter shade of a of cream or maybe almost a white and I go right above the lash line from the corner of the eye all the way out to the edge and then I get in that little spot right by the nose right in the very corner of your eye if you put a little dab of the light eyeshadow in there it just makes the eyes pop it's really pretty there in the corner so work that in and then I take my brush and I'm going to put it on its tip so that it gets right on almost like a pencil and then I will barely highlight, and this is the shade I was doing on the brow line, so it's not very bright, but it will just add a little bit of luminescence to those eyes and put it underneath. And then I get my powder, and again, I use Clinique just because it makes your face so clear and so nice. You will love it. And then I powder down just a little bit on those eyelids to blend the shadows together, and then just put it across the face so that you don't have any shining, shiny skin and then get your blush and I just have a nice pink color here and you want to gently work it in starting on the apples of the cheeks and follow that cheekbone line out toward the hairline and just you can get on too much really quickly so I like to work slowly and try not to overdo it with the pink and I take some lipstick, this happens to be Clinique, but you can use any kind that you've got, and I apply it to the lips, and it's kind of in the similar, it's basically in the shades of her eyeshadow with the plums. Then I take a pink gloss, 
so it gives it that nice shiny look on top and put that on the top and bottom and your lips are all shiny and glossy and pretty and they match the color palette then I'm going to take some dark uh, no not the dark I will use the light to do her eyebrows and it is the lightest brown and I barely um, shape her eyebrows a little bit so hers are nice and thick so all I want to do is just this corner above where the eye starts bring that out a little bit and then extend the length on both eyes and then um, reshape them again so I get out my comb because you've got them messed up after doing that and then I have a dark brown I don't like black on her for her age I think it doesn't look right on her complexion so I have a dark brown that I barely put on the tops and bottoms of both eyes or she puts on see how she barely has any on at all I use quite a bit more than she does and then in the corners I just follow the natural line that the bottom eyelid is making and I follow that up and I just think it gives it a little bit more dramatic look and brings out the eye and then I have this L'Oreal voluminous mascara and I love it I have this Clinique stuff but I actually like the voluminous better so I when I do my own mascara I'm either going to almost be looking down holding a mirror right under my face so that I can you know look down into the palm of my hand while I do it but on her, I need to lift her brow line out of the way. That way I can curl the lashes while I am putting the mascara on. And I lift the brow up so that I can get way in there with my brush and I don't accidentally hit my eyelid or my cheek with my mascara. So I do a little bit on the underside of the lash and then I close the eye and I do a generous coat on top, bringing it down. And then I lift that brow again so that on the underneath side of the lashes, which is the side you will see, I can really get in there and give it a beautiful coat. And then as I pull it up, notice how I'm going slowly and I hold it in place, forcing it in a curl because it curls a lot better when it's wet with mascara. So lift up those lashes and hold them there for a second and they will curl very nicely for you. After the top set is dry so you don't mark your cheek, then I open my eyes and do the bottom set really lightly. I don't want to overcoat the bottom or you look like you have a spider crawling out of your eyes. So I just barely do the bottom just a little bit. Again, make sure that your top lashes have dried or as soon as you blink or open your eyes all the way, it ruins your perfect eyeshadow or your cheek. I just want to darken her lipstick just a titch and shape those eyebrows. And she is all done.